Our last configuration step here in Sites and Services is to actually get our domain controllers populated into the correct site. We've been working so far with these domain controllers in the headquarters site, and that's why we've not been able to see the other sites really, like when we've been doing some of the drop down menus. The way to get these servers actually into the correct site is by right clicking on them and choosing to move the server from one site to the other. And so literally when it comes time to get your domain controllers put in the correct site, you just grab them, right click them, move them into the appropriate site so that they're now located in that location. And that's really all that you need to know in order to be successful with this particular task. It's important, honestly, because remembering to do that is something that can be, it's just something that can be forgotten. So I, I sort of include this clip in here, even though it's a little silly, because that's the last step, is to actually make sure your domain controllers are then properly, properly identified in the site and then participating in the site connectivity that you've set up all the way up until this point.